So kicking off, here we go, Rourke versus Flick Switch. So off the bat, uh, Flick Switch getting the shock rifle spawn, obviously quite important for a spawn to pick up. Indeed, he's going to try and pick up as many vials as he possibly can here. As there's no, no armors at the start of uh, Unreal Tournament 4. Unlike UT99, which of course everything was spawned, I believe. Absolutely, it was all there. It's like a frantic push to pick everything up. Because this gives you a bit of time to uh, get, a, get a couple of weapons before the first item spawn. We are going to have armor spawning now. It looks like Flick Switch is going to be in position to take this. Um, Rork not actually contesting for that. Peeking from the shock rifle area, but... Definitely can't blame her. Down. She was on one HP there. Oh, I, did, I didn't see that. <laughs> she uh, she had to run. She picked up some health uh, by the shock rifle, but now is waiting in the shield belt. I wonder if Flick Switch is going to make it there in time. He yeah, should just say, push yeah, it. Uh, walk in there quite early. Uh, that's that's the risky run of setting up too early for that shield belt in there. You are you are kind of at a disadvantage getting down there too early for the shield belt. You need to be dropping in there as soon as it's spawning. Definitely. Uh, it's... Flick picking up the armor, but actually taking a lot of damage there. That's down to uh, nine armor. It took some health off as well, so already negating that shield belt. That's a great health... combo. Yeah, and health stack that he had built up already. As you were saying, though, you don't want to be too early, especially on a raise. For going... Ooh! Ooh! Flick landing a nice air rocket there off the lift. That was superb. And he said, oh, going to pick up the respawn kill as well. Flick, Flick nicely reading the map there. Dialing into the uh, the sound that he could here and picking up the next armor as well. Rook already down to 16 HP in a bit of trouble there, needs to get out of there. Flick can't connect with the enforcer to bring Rook down. Doing a good job chasing with some rockets, but misses the splash damage unfortunately. He's just gonna go for the shield belt instead, secure himself that shield belt. She does do. Rourke really low on 46 HP. Anything yeah, that touches her now and needs needs to be uh, picking up some health so I can contest for the next power up. But I think Flick just uh, chatting her down there and he's going to be able to pick up the next arm uncontested again. Make you can hear her just below her spamming out some grenades, trying to get on top. A little bit slow on that that spawn frag. I felt as if you should just dive in there when you've got such a, a healthy stack uh, fresh yeah, up a spawn. When you sat on 150 armor, 144 health, I mean, you, you, you might as well commit to the spawn kill. There's uh, not yeah. much chance unless uh, they land like a combo or something like that. And Rourke coming in quite early for that armor there, but Flix just managed to shut her down before it spawns. Shield belt's coming up in about five seconds. And Rourke is down there a little bit too early. Has Flick forgotten about it? No. It should be spawning now. Yeah. Rock does have a chance to pick that up, but no, Flick with some nice rockets there, managing to bounce bounce her out of the way and uh, managed to steal that out. That's uh, unfortunate there for Walker. It, it seemed as if Flick had kind of mistimed that a bit. It was a bit late to, uh, to the shield bow area, but still kind of got lucky with the pick up. Anyway, you know, Walker's first armor pick up of the game. If she can knock down some of this stack that Flick's built up over the first four minutes or so. Yeah. She's, gonna, she's got a long way to go though, but she does get that armor, at least it gives her some uh, some fighting points at least, but I don't think it's going to last too much longer with Flick hitting some direct rockets there. 7-0 now for Flick, It's going to pick up the 50 and deny that away from her. And she's looking a bit lost on this map, I don't think she's too familiar with a raise. No, I mean, it's, this is one of those maps where as soon as kind of map, I mean, you see players like Dylan and Hypno really dominate maps like this. Is You can shut down the spawns quite quickly, and again, once once you get the runaway with a couple of the power-ups, it's, it's really just a uh, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, killing herself there with the rockets down. But as, as I was saying, it's it's quite easy to run away with the spawns here if you've got a good stack. Yeah, she's keeping on time with the, uh, the actual, the timings of the armor, but unfortunately, just there too early. What I like to do is wait just above it by the link area and then just swoop in, dive in, get out. Not yeah, I mean, I mean both, both, both the armor and the shield area, um, they're quite easy to uh, to be caught off guard. So it's it's important to kind of hold it from a distance and and time time enter in that area. Yeah, the spam is very real down there. Really can't get a hold of anything right now to. To help her that much, but that shock rifle could help. Now that I say that, gets a primary in. 
spams up some balls, but... Oh, oh flick! Goodness. Hitting Rourke's <laughs> ball. Good combo. If not a little bit lucky. Oh, and Rourke actually managed to pick up a shield back there. See if she can connect with this impact hammer. You're getting bounced around by the pockets. That's actually... Oh, and Flick actually also still sees a lift. Both players kind of flying around each other. I can't Flick believe not really this. Being able to do a lot of damage here, but Rock also can't connect with that impact hammer. He was raging at himself because he couldn't hit her. At that close range with a rocket launcher, he had like several attempts, easy shots. <laughs> Just patience and wait for it. That's that's the thing about the Inter four movement. It's so easy when uh, when you're in kind of a close quarter combat there in, in a tight area. It's so easy to bounce around with the wall dodges and make it really really difficult for somebody to connect with. I mean the rockets are still very powerful, but. Being able to actually lay down some damage in an area like that with somebody that's got good movement is still quite difficult. Yeah, definitely. Oh, Flick landed a nice three primaries there. Getting him up onto the rampage with uh, just under four minutes remaining now. Rock already in position for the shield bounce. He's going to get the second one in a row. And actually connecting with the impact hammer there, bringing uh, Flick switch down to 59 health. And only 20 armor, so he, he needs to be in position for this next armor. But she is walks actually above there with the high ground and a shot rifle, which is not a good position for Flick to be in. He's actually wisely backing off. Yep. Oh, guess getting a little bit too cocky though, overextending a little bit over that ledge and taking a big combo to the face. Was knocked down to 32, and Rourke's cutting, cutting him off here at the link gun. Can she find this frag now? Get back on the scoreboard with a zero, hopefully. It doesn't Rourke look like miss, it. Miss, yeah, misreading it slightly going there, all the way over to the armor, but she, she has picked up the armor there. Third one she's picked up. Let's see if she can shut down, because this is, this is the worst that Flick's stack has looked the, the whole map here. I mean, he's doing the right thing at the minute. He's, he's, he's not really engaging. He's kind of backing off, doing a couple of defensive combos, throwing some grenades around, but he is going to contest with his shield belt. Rourke is down there with the shot, and Flick's which managed to steal it away. And uh, actually shutting Rourke down there with some nicely placed rockets. Yeah, that's down exact. To seven, down to 71 health though, and it looks like Rourke's going to pick up this armor. She's got no actually weapons to deal with it. Got a gun. She does pick up the rockets now though, but again, flick switch with some nicely placed rockets at her feet. Waiting for the spawn frag. Misses it. Misses the headshot. Knew where it was coming, but... Uh, flick doing a good job on that shield belt steal. That's exactly the way you should have played it. Coming in at the very last second, disrupting your opponent that's waiting down there, and then stealing away the shield belt. It was... Flick not in a good position here. 28 health and uh, link gun in hand for Rourke. Why is he backing off there? Not contesting for the armor. He's actually backing off and giving that to her. But still, he needs to get towards some health. Looks like he's going to do it. Confused Rourke there by going up on that ramp. Drops down for the uh, shock rifle health, and he's now back up to about 100. But again, no, no armor on Flick Switch here, and uh, another five seconds for the 100 to spawn. And, and Walk, yeah, sensibly coming into contest here, knocking Flick Switch down to 18 health. Coming in with the link up to try and finish it up, and it does gets her first kill of the game. Nicely done there, Char charged down at the right time, knew he was low. But again, this, this, this map's <laughs> definitely over unless we see something. Uh, Absolutely spectacular. Flixwish just needs to run the time down now. Yep, it's guaranteed. But uh, hopefully some redemption points come in for Rourke now. She lands another rocket. And actually getting uh, one on the scoreboard now, 12-1. I was really surprised that Flick didn't go for 50s a little bit more, more often when he was out of control. He left a couple of them up. I don't think Rourke was collecting oh, again, them. She was too yeah, busy again, fragging. Same, same for Rourke. She's, uh, they, they both both neglected it. I would really slow the game down at that 50 area a lot of the time, especially if I have a sniper rifle. Well, it's about the only area of the map that's uh, closed off and, and safe, really. You've got that corner you can back into. Everywhere else is kind of, you know, somebody can charge in, jump down on you. Exactly. I'll find there's some nice rockets here, though, putting quite a lot of damage down onto, onto Flick. Down to 50 HP, he's going to pick up those pads. And run away, pick up that health as well. Flick really, uh, I mean, certainly his, uh, his, mo his movement's improved a lot since the last time I saw him play. 
um, his defensive movements are quite impressive actually. Well, it is his map and he's actually made this map, yeah. so probably why he knows how to move on it a little uh, bit better. It's definitely better than the last time I played him on it. It looks like Rort got in just in time and they're going to yeah. start it, so frankly we don't have to restart and have more delays, but... <laughs> Flick straight away picking up uh, the rocket spawn, he's uh, gone straight over to the shock and they're already numbing up some vials. Try and build up a bit of a stack. Indeed, and I'm going to just turn on the x-ray because that's awesome. Uh, this, this is a map I've not, I've not played a lot. I think uh, the only person I've actually played on this is, uh, is you, Zach. Really? I've not, yeah, I've not, not seen a lot of uh, playtime on this. Um, I've not really seen anybody else playing it either. It, it... We caught a little bit at the last uh, dual cup that we did. I'm not. I was casting most of it. I think by myself, and you came in at the end. I can't remember actually now. But I'm sure you were there. Been, been cup playing or oh, Rock <laughs> in with a suicide rocket charge there and uh, bring bring in flick switch down to 57 health. But unfortunately, yeah. Uh, Suiciding in the process and Flick in position for that first bell, going to pick that up completely un uncontested. But Rourke wisely going for the armor on the other side of the map. Yeah, Flick's going to take away some of that hit scan, taking the sniper rifle. Rourke's down by that uh, black cannon. Well, minigun area, I should say. But she has the black cannon. And Flick's no, Flick, no, yeah, playing the high ground. Just sealing yeah. her into this uh, half of the map, or was, but let her slip through the uh, the gateway here. He's just That's waiting for that next hundred. Yeah, the armor is is up now, and it's been taken again by Rock. Another twenty seconds for the belt to spawn. Now Flick already looks like he's going to try to set up for this. He can hear Rock directly <laughs> under her. Kind of dancing about next to each other. Um, oh, in trouble here, down to thirty-three health and there. Uh, Four seconds till shield belt. I think, as she does, she just shuts down wow. just before the shield belt spawns. So that's uh, that's quite crucial now. We can see what uh, Rock will do with the respawn here. Armor it has just spawned. Whether or not Flick Switch knows about it, and it's going to uh, get charged down by rockets, but managing to slip away. Some good aggression coming in from Rock actually pushing out hard, getting some more damage with some flat cannon there, trying to push onto this frag. But Flick is now going to plus back away. She falls down. He manages to find himself a shot rifle. Can he get some distance with it, though? Good damage, though, with the flak. Down to 17 health now. Flick switch in a lot of trouble in that low area. Taking a splash damage rocket. That was a great initial push at the shield belt area. She was 33 HP. She had the disadvantage on the positioning, and she charged in some rockets and took down Flick, who had 95 HP at the time. So did yeah. a really good job actually contesting that shield belt. It was a risk, but it paid off hugely now that she has control. Walk already wisely setting up for the next shield belt as well, and uh, Flick Switch actually reading that situation, backing off completely, um, leaving Walk uncontested to pick that up. But actually, <laughs> landed a really nice, really nice second with Black there, uh, trying to convert with the. Um, that was the big 160. Distance, yeah. And that is. Uh, Flick, Flick Switch really should be pushing the issue here. I mean, he. He looks like he's going to. I mean, he should, he, should, he, should, he should have known that, uh, obviously, the damage that that would have done and, and walk running away like that, she was uh, she was down to barely any stack. I mean, it was just 78 health left on her. Um, could have read that a bit better and pushed in. Especially that would have uh, tied the game up and it's given Walk an opportunity to contest this armor here. But Flick Switch nicely moving in with the rockets and getting a close quarters kill. Walk can set up for this next shield belt in a good position and land the first rocket at least, then Ooh. she could have had a hope, but unfortunately... I would have I would have just been partially at that rocket doorway, hiding there would have been the best place to be, and then coming out at the last moment at that shield belt, but... That's the thing, with the shield belt the way it is, again, it's, it's, it's kind of open out in that corner of the map, it, it's, it's easy to pick up a, a couple of forced suicide kills, you bounce somebody over the ledge, the shot combos or anything like that, it's... Uh, not a nice area to be caught in, so when shield belt spawning, you kind of want to be watching that from afar. But again, it's one of those ones you need to get the timing right to land on it at the right time. If you're lurking on that platform, it's it's not a good position to be in. 
yeah, really helps having a shock rifle actually there as well to help, you know, just control it. Some shock balls either side of the uh, of the shield belt and you can seal it off relatively easy because of the choke points. But unfortunately, she only had a rocket launcher off that fresh spawn and now Flick has got the 3-1 twist on her. Quite obviously a much slower pace than uh, what we saw on the first map. Uh, Walk actually playing this one a lot more uh, defensively, which uh, first half of the map kind of worked out, but um, Flick managing to bring it to 3-1 with five minutes remaining. Uh, can, can hear Rourke, but can't know where she is. But, uh, she's actually going to force in there and Flick whips with three nice rockets there, shutting her down as soon as, as, soon as she picked up that armour. Yeah, she's got a difficult uphill climb now, so there's nothing's up for quite some time. Only the helmet, and it's not really going to help against Flick, who's almost, you know, 199, 150 right now. He's picking up all the vials across the map and looking incredibly healthy. Rourke is going to need some big damage uh, secondary flat balls coming in. And this next shield belt that's coming up in three seconds. So that's just going to make Flick uh stack even better. That's uh, 169 HP and uh, pick up the shield belt as well. Rourke challenging for that, but Flick Switch landing four primary shocks there. I'm looking to finish it off with a rocket launcher. Oh, but Rourke landing a couple of nice flat secondaries. I mean, knocking Flick the stack off a bit. Oh, nice direct rocket there, bringing Rourke right down to five HP. How didn't she die? Wow, I thought she was below 100 health there, but obviously she must have picked I up think some health the, pack. Yeah, the, the armor's absorbed uh, some, some of it, but uh, Flix is actually shooting the wall. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it's just good to switch out to a link gun, or just do a combo like that. Or do a combo like that. And... I think often players forget about link gun or mini at the moment, especially with the, the rockets being uh, as powerful as they are. Oh, definitely, yeah, definitely. The way the game is at the minute, I mean, in, um, certainly in uh, YouTube 1, I'm sure it was the same as we go forward. So, kind of, you'd, you'd force in with the rockets, do some splash damage, and then obviously the Link and Mini were, were kind of the ideal finishing weapons. Or maybe he's just refusing really to switch. Nice, really nice black ball there from Rourke, actually. I don't know if you saw that. Was, I uh, did, I did. Kind of just before uh, Flick Switch landed, it was, uh, I think it was direct, actually. It's not Flick Switch right down to uh, 116 HP and completely negated all of his armor. And all the armors are actually taken at the moment, so he's going to have to just run with his normal health here. If Rourke can get in a good position to actually fight at close range, he might be able to get one on the scoreboard again. Lick being careful not to drop down, waiting for that next 100 armor. He's going to jump in for the steal here, perhaps? No. Rourke does pick it up, but Rourke needs to utilize a little bit more of the high ground here. that's going to force Flick Switch off the shield belt, perhaps. No, Flick is just going to go in really hardcore here, but gets punished for it with the close-range Flack. I mean, that was actually that was actually great play from Flick there. Soon, as soon as she picked up the shield belt, Flick had already landed two direct rockets and, and brought, brought right down to about 40 health. But um, Walk doing well to uh, close the gap and get that... Um, the flak obviously still being extremely deadly close range as it always has been. Indeed. A little bit unlucky on the on the next frag rock there. She could have picked up another one and got uh, the 6-3, but it didn't quite land the combo. I think uh, Flick Switch actually walked into the shot ball, denying it from happening as he went for the, the 100 armor. That could have actually changed it up. You can actually score very quickly on this map if you know how to move through it quickly. And it can get... The control gets very tight. It's like a bow constrictor sometimes. There's nothing you can do to get back into it once that chain is uh, flowing. But uh, I don't think Rourke knows how to hold the map quite to that degree. Shots being exchanged. Look, it's just utilizing that top area and that sort of sniper den just to get out of trouble. Always raining rockets from above onto Rourke. She's struggling, always trying to find that upper angle, which she just can't find. Now switches out to the shock rifle. 
Oh, nice little aerial engagement there. Both, both players kind of hovering in front of each other, but again, a nice sniper shot from Flickswitch there to, uh, to finish her off. Const like Constellation frag there for Rock at the end, making the score 7 3. But 2 0. Uh, Flix yeah, Flickswitch closing that one out fairly, uh, fairly confidently as well.